today. I want you to get it. For all these things do the nation of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that you have need of these things. I wish I had time, but... He says this, and, and, and I'm sure you're seeing this in a total new light before today. He says, but rather, seek ye the kingdom of God. I have time for go silent right now. But rather, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I'm going to divert and diverse a little bit. I want you to listen to this, you know, because... Yesterday I came here, I went out in the car and was lying down. I was exhausted. Came in from St. Elizabeth about 1 o'clock. The little body won't sleep past 5.30 in the morning. I don't know why. And I had to get up back and then came here. And trust me, my pastor Michael Aiken, them give me coffee. I don't know, I don't know, I want to get this idea say, coffee keep people awake. When me drink a good cup of coffee, the first thing that happened to me after I drink it, I fall asleep. That's something that work. My granny. So, them give me one cup of coffee. And I said, No, Papa, I can't sit down. I have to walk up and down, holy. And then, look here. When I have to pray for a pastor named Michael Aiken, you know, he needs God help. The man got a road, go by me. I want to name him. Some adrenaline. Where is he? In a one blue buckle. No, I'm not very sure anything could come out of a blue buckle. Good. So, if it come out of a purple buckle, I could understand. But <laughs> God is a good God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Come on, somebody need to jump and shout. I just want to say this before I read the last verse that I want to end at. The church is the agent of the kingdom. The church is the body of Christ. If when you turn to your neighbor and look upon them and say special agent and call them by them surname. Come on. You see, once you're a special agent, you know which organization you belong to. If I'm a CIA or FBI, special your ambassadors, they are the name for ambassador is special agent. You are an agent of change. You are a nation agent. You are about to bring about change in this nation. For you are in a nation church. No, you not get me. You see, nation, don't make the word fool you. It means people. But someone are going like, so I'm going to divert a little bit. Me and one of them will believe that human being is a weak, frail, scum of the earth thing. I hear it being preached, but I don't believe it. When God made Adam, he made human beings perfect. So I'm not a human being because I'm sinning. I'm a human being that sins. And every time I sin, I dehumanize myself. We need to stop telling the lie that I'm only human. That's why I sin wrong. You were dirt on the earth and the spirit of God came into that dirt and he jumped up and said, I'm man. Then when a foreign thing entered man called sin, that's only when he began to die. Sin is not human. It not belong to the human DNA. And so in 1 John it says sin is of the devil. So you're not, you're not human because you sin. Some of you get silent for me again. Felt up, felt up, put more can't hold all on. We're little. I want us to get that in our mind. I'm going to say this for all of the cartoon fans. I'm all of the cartoon fans here, raise your hand. Animation people. Come on, man, you're not like me, man. If you don't miss cartoon, half of your life gone. So sin is an X gene. So sin makes you into an X man. <laughs> I 
I don't like, here, here, let me finish my message because all of them gone silent. So, in verse, <laughs> in verse 31, it says, remember, we're reading from St. Luke chapter 12. I know there's a familiar passage in St. Matthew chapter 6. Everybody know it, verse 33 and 34. But rather seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen? But I want you to hear some of what is in the St. Luke 12 passage. It says here, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. And the verse I want to end up. Remember, say, you tell the people themselves, my special agent, your ambassador. You don't belong to the ground where you walk upon. You take dominion over the ground that you belong, you walk on. Pastor, you have to come stand up beside me with a great ear, because them now listen to me. You come tell them. So, <laughs> it's experience. It's, hey. Don't tell nobody me tell them. I tell the Portmore Church. When I was 40 and I became pastor for Portmore, I never had one single gray hair in my head. I remember my got in front of the mirror, my boss, 40 and no gray hair. Look at me now. So you see how Pastor Miller stay? You know, it's a long time I'm a pastor. Not no black. Hear the last verse, and I want to close with it. It says this. I have to read it in conjunction. Verse 31 says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. No, I want you to hear that quite nicely. In other words, you not have no reason to belong to any other kingdom. As a matter of fact, if you belong to any other kingdom, then all the things that should be added unto you, you now get. You have to try to thief them. You have to try to look for it by fortune and fame and wealth. But Jesus Christ, he was so smart that when the enemy took him up into a high mountain and he says, look here, I'm offering you all the things of the world. I'm offering you the riches. I'm offering you the fame. I'm offering you all that you can see the wealth. And Jesus looked upon him and said, but Mr. Devil, you either want idiot or want fool. Oh, you feel all for me what already belongs to me. And that is the reason most of us miss it. Because the enemy is offering the things from his standpoint of his kingdom. And you already own the things that he's offering you. You have no need to accept it from him. You tell him, it's already mine. Because the father's good pleasure had to give me the kingdom. No, some of you still don't get this yet. It is yours. The only person who can prevent you from having it is you the only person who can prevent you from having it is you turn to your neighbor and say but nah, make the devil fool me tell them special agent ambassador kingdom representative it is that is good pleasure to give me the kingdom I'm really winding down. One minute. So the prodigal son knew that the father always has the inheritance in store for him. So what the, father, what the son did, he went to his daddy and said, Daddy, give me what is already mine. And he took it and he went and spent it. Now listen, you are good managers. Let it be found in you to be a good steward, a good manager. The things of the kingdom that's already yours. Nobody just throw them down one side. Nobody treat them bad. You get the car for share with somebody. You get the money for share with somebody. Give to others. It is the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom.